super excited to go on this trip. My birthday weekend was postponed, but we go in today, and I'm excited to go to my job and drop off the studies. Um, it have a toy drive, and we decluttering because my nieces are no longer babies. So this is that. Some other child can benefit from it. I just have to make sure everything is in perfect condition and put them in a plastic bag. Hi guys, welcome back and welcome to my channel. My name is Riri and today we are going on a little trip. So today um, we go going to um, Ian Pina's Mountain Resort. Um, it's a belated birthday trip. I was supposed to go for my birthday but my friend my friend got um, the flu and I had uh, my menses so I put it to today um, so yeah Look, water coming across there like a waterfall look at this look at this uh. I have made it across the valley of devolution. I cannot understand this shit. Numbers. By now we psycho me, psycho cheese, time not cheap, try not sleep, I not read down town, not so like we sign up, feed back my heart. From a kind of big I don't live the life you live. After staying in post mode and forgetting that I have to be somewhere for 12 o'clock, I had to test my driving skills to make it to um, Point Michel and up to the place before it was 3 o'clock. Anyways, I got lost a little bit because my data wasn't working so I couldn't get the um, live direction. However, I asked the villagers and I got the road. The road wasn't looking too pretty but I was already on that testing my driving abilities so I decided let's go for it. It's a beautiful little living room slash kitchen. There's a full stove. This is outside. You got a dining room. So after my package got for a meal, I went to the bar at 5 and was told the bar is closed for the day and I didn't eat anything so I have to go down to Point Michelle and get fries and pork. Uh, this is wonderful. You put a light on the other side. So guys, my day today was eventful, I should say, because first of all, when I went to collect Lorenzo on my way back from Barraga to Wesley, the sea engulfed the entire vehicle. I was underwater <laughs> for a good five seconds. Anyways, I still continue on my journey, happy and whatever. Um, I drove my sister to Portsmouth and yeah, and then when I look at the time, it was already 10 30. 10 30, yes, it was 10 30. And I am not a very fast driver, <laughs> so um, I made my way down to town and I had to drop the teddies, the bag of teddies at my job for the toy drive for the Christmas and then I hurried over I got some I got a wine and juice um, I waited for my friend <laughs> but actually I came up here 
at first check in let the person know because i was already two hours late from the check-in time and i went back down to lubia to collect my friend and then we came back up while we were there <laughs> we met a very nice staff the staff are very friendly here um yeah he brought us back down into the town to get some stuff and then after we came back up um a little while after we went to the pool was already filled with people when we get when we got here so we waited a bit but i guess we waited too long <laughs> we waited too long to go get um dinner and by the time we reached to the bar it was 5 15. the lady said everything was done for the day so we had to go down to Paul Michel to get food. Um, I got some pork and fries and my friend got bakes. <laughs> uh, we already had fried chicken so we came back up on that road. <laughs> we showered, took some pictures, vibe and then we went to the pool. We did not bathe because it is freezing outside. <laughs> it's like the North Pole outside. So, anyways, we just vibe by the pool and then we back inside. Um, now I'm going to wash my face, finish my wine, and have a good time. <laughs> I woke up at 6, um, I brushed my teeth, I went outside and enjoyed a fresh clean air, I did some self-reflecting, start planning 2023, um, I caught up on my reading, there's this very good book, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill, that book is so fantastic, I had to catch up on my reading and just enjoy being away from home and in this quiet relaxing place with a beautiful view i could hear my neighbor next door snoring i swear that guy stayed up until 12 fighting with something inside there and i don't even know what time he fell asleep but it was after six and he was still snoring <laughs> So it's the next morning and it's very quiet. There's not really much guests. I think just one guy. Um, yeah, it's very refreshing, quiet, peaceful. I did some reading, had my morning coffee, and everything is going great. I'm going to go back to bed. I see that the workers are finally coming in for the day. So I am going to go back to bed, rest for a bit. And then go to the pool because last night we couldn't so today um gonna go to the pool take some pictures and then clock out check out time is 12 pm so yeah by the time i woke up it was already after nine and it's the staff that called us and asked us if we're not getting up to go and enjoy our day so we got dressed and head over to the pool it was empty and we were the only ones there so we took full advantage of that <laughs> everything about this place was so refreshing it's like the air was clean the area was clean the place was well kept no noisy neighbors but except for the snoring guy next door but everything was perfect the owners live right on the property and they didn't even bother anybody it was amazing i will definitely be going back for a longer stay because that is just remarkable <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
How crazy is the wall at? There is this thing looking like I don't know and the broom was what caught me. The broom, it was the broom for me with the curve and everything. So it's a <laughs> the last couple of hours before we leave. Well actually it's couple. It's checkout time and we were told that we could wait. You can see that we didn't get our meal last night. We are getting lunch today because our package comes with lunch. So um, we went to the pool. We washed out in the shower outside and we need to go dry off and get ready to go get our lunch and to get out. It was a fun experience. Calm in, quiet. Lovely, I had a good time. The view is spectacular, the staff are super friendly, and the food is great. So now I'm gonna see if the food is as great as everything else was. So, yeah, the meal was 10 out of 10. Chef's kiss. <laughs> I'm on my way home this is where we end the vlog thank you for watching don't forget to like comment share subscribe stay tuned for more good stuff bye